I can't even fully explain what this tower does. So just take a look at it. What's happening? It makes, it spawns monkeys and makes them run along the track popping balloons. The monkey barracks is literally a barracks that spawns and sends monkeys along the track, kind of like Necromancer on Popped Army, except you can upgrade it to make the monkeys stronger, eventually sending Pat Fusty, Sun God monkeys, and even just support Chinooks. So today I'm gonna be trying out this modded 555 tower that even has a paragon, the Union of Monkey Socialist Republics, which caused 2.1 million dollars. So we're gonna be seeing just how insane this monkey barracks really is. Huge shout out to the mod creator, Gooey Gooey, by the way. All right, let's just jump right into this. So the monkey barracks, I think, can be kind of placed anywhere. It doesn't matter because it spawns them at the start of the track. Look at this. It literally just spawns it, but he's like, Brrrr. And then, boop. he's like, okay, but not really that strong. Okay, so we could get a ninja army, which sounds amazing. Troops gain more pierce or double forces. Spawn one extra dart monkey or faster training. Wait, this goes to Fusty? Wait, I kind of want to get Fusty. And then double forces. I think I want the ninja army. So does it spawn just ninjas? Oh, look, the ninjas are faster. Look at that. Wait, wait. Okay, so if we get double forces now, does it spawn two? Okay, so it still spawns only one ninja, but it spawns two dart monkeys now. Oh my gosh. We're already just kind of going crazy. I also love that we're playing on cards and darts because then all the monkeys are just like, woo! It's so funny watching. I love how they go under the bridge as well. They go under and then they go up and around. So they actually take out the whole track, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's get Benjamin and let's throw Benjamin like way down over there because we're going to need a lot of money. This Paragon cost, what, $2.1 million. So we're going to definitely need to get a ton of money. And I think even the T5s are expensive. Yeah, 200000 50000 We have a lot of money that we're going to need to get. So we're going to just start working on trying to get that. Plus, this is just a T1, and it's already so strong. Look at how powerful it is. It's already just kind of easily destroying everything. The ninjas are really good. I think this is, an, this is an amazing idea for a tower, and I think it's just so funny watching all of the dart monkeys and ninja monkeys just run along the track, just ramming into balloons, okay? You know, they don't need projectiles because they're the projectiles themselves now. They just launch themselves at the balloons. Ooh, super army. Wait. You can send super monkeys? All okay, right, I'm so down. I want to start sending some super monkeys. How do I do this? I mean, I don't really need anything right now, though. That's kind of the thing. Now send deadly trucks on the track. When they die, it unleashed a big explosions and spawns two officers? What? Like, what? What is... <laughs> the creativity with this tower is absolutely hilarious. Guys, if you think this tower is hilarious already, hit that like button. Show your love and support for these creative modders who just make some of the funniest towers. Nice. Oh, wait. Oh, balloons are kind of getting to the track. Balloons are, like, kind of getting by right now. All right, we need to get some upgrades. All right, obviously, the only reasonable thing that we can get now is par uh, Fusty Party. So now, there we go. We got Fusty Party now. Wait. Wait, where's Fusty? Oh my gosh, Fusty spawns so slowly. We can't hit camos. Wait, Fusty's gone. Oh, there he is! Fusty! Wait, Fusty's so bad. I thought he was gonna be better. All right, let's just do Explosion Madness. There we go, now we can ex Oh my gosh, the cannon's so good! All right, supporting unit. Wait, every few seconds spawns a banana farm? That when die gives money. Also give a small amount of money when it hits a balloon. Oh, nice! Wait, it's already made $400? That's a lot of- Oh, wait, 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 we're losing? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we only have three lives. We literally only have three lives. Oh my gosh, we need to get- All right, let's get another one. So let's do a middle path one. Let's do Pierce, because I think Pierce is going to be nice. And then faster training. Okay, and then- Oh, look at this. So it has to be- Oh, we're going to lose because the lead balloon got by. Okay, so it has to have- the bottom so let's get super well let's get explosion madness because it's ex it, now it sends more explosive troops right and i think you need this to be able to explosion hits lead balloons i love that that's actually so cool okay here's another explosion tower boom 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 all right cool very cool i think just getting the explosion is really nice if they're the only things that can hit lead balloons that's gonna be pretty there's so much on the track right now all right let's get the reinforced 
barrack. Wait, do I even need any of these yet? All right, I think we're like so strong right now. So let's go ahead and just make this. All right, Monkey City. It might not be worth it anymore because it costs so much. It's possible, but also not probable. I think we only want one of th one of them, and then we can get just a Monkeyopolis, and then bigger radius. Okay. Wait, I just realized we're on round 41. We've already just taken out the Moab. What's done the most? Who's popped the most? Wait, our banana, our supporting unit banana farm is what's popped the most. But I guess that's what we've had down for quite a while. So, how's Benjamin doing? Benjamin's made us six thousand dollars. I mean, I don't expect Benjamin to go like great. What? No way! I can't put a. I didn't put a banana farm in the right spot there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are we okay here? Uh, all right. We need, all right. We need to get some upgrades. Let's go ahead. Let's get the super army. Oh my gosh. There we go. Now we got the super army. Go super monkeys. We've got it. Look at them. Yeah. Yeah. They overwhelmed the balloons. Oh, but those lead balloons are brutal. Actually. Those lead balloons pro are proving to be quite a nuisance for us. I like how the barrack, the monkey barrack, like jingles and jangles. Like it just comes up and around. Look at this. It's just a, it's the infinite figurine of, of super monkeys and towers. That, <laughs> that is so amusing and funny to look at. I'm just going to like litter them around so that whenever, if the bananas actually drop anything, they'll just be sure to pick them up. Right? I think that's probably the best bet. So whenever, look at these banana farms. Because ideally you want them to be able to make some money. Yeah, when they run through. There you go. Which one? I want... All right, let's get the reinforced barrack. So now send deadly trucks on the track. Whoa, there's the deadly truck. Oh, wait, look. Here's the officers. Like, the, the, the little mini guys that puts down towers and then just shoots and pops balloons. That's amazing. I'm a huge fan of this. Oh, but look at these ceramics. Oh, that's not good. All right, let's go ahead. Let's put a village on the barracks. And let's just get an MIB. And let's get an attack speed boost. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's get the machine gun. So what does the machine gun do? I'm not exactly sure what the machine... Oh, wait, are those the machine guns? No, these are the officers. I'm not sure where the machine gun is. Advanced tech. So every balloons in his range moves slower. Send a burst of deadly missiles that destroy most balloons on screen. All right, so it looks like this will now slow balloons that are within this area, which is pretty nice. And now we have a, a tech that will destroy most balloons on screen. Do we just want to use it and see what it does? I kind of want to use it and see what it does. Well, the BFB is about to show up, so we can see how it does against the BFB. There is so much going on right now. The, what, there's just a circus. This is what the balloons get, okay? We're coming for the balloons now! We're sending everything we got at them. That is way too funny. About to go up against the BFB. All right, here's the BFB, and I'm going to use the ability. Whoa! That ability looks so cool. Most of the time, they just use, like, a Sar Bomba, but that felt like a unique ability. A mixture of, like, a bunch of bombs just, like, everywhere just raining down. I like that a lot. And it seemed pretty powerful, too. Just boom. That is really neat. So this military can support very well in the battlefield. And then military squad. So the truck is now armored, dealing more explosion damage, and now spawn one officer and one soldier that deals good damage. Uh, well, all right, let's do that. So now we have the armored military vehicle, which is this one. And then, oh my gosh, look. Look at how many officers and stuff. And do they have a soldier somewhere? I don't know. I, oh, there it is. Here's the soldier. Oh, that I love that they're just these little mini towers. There's so much love that's been put into this tower. You can tell. This modded tower is really, really cool. So far, I think my favorite is the top half. The, the one that just spawns the trucks. Because it's a really... So it looks like the support Chinook. But they've actually redesigned it to make it look like a truck. Which is really cool. And then it spawns in like little miniature officers and soldiers. I love the concept of that. I think that's really cool way to like reuse assets to blend something together. I think that's really, really cool. So now let's start focusing on trying to get some of these T5s. So the armored truck. So the strongest military army. There's, <laughs> there's, there's so many things going on right now. It is, it's hard to like keep track of it. What is this military support? We could just buy the military support. Let's buy it. All right, military support. Whoa! That's cool. It creates like a non-stop... Okay, I feel like the military su support should come here. And we should put the military support 
right here in the middle. I feel like that's way better, right? Military support. Oh, whoa, that's way better. And then Pierce training, yeah, and then faster training, I think is better. And then we can just go ahead and just put an MIB on this guy. All right, guys, I crashed my game, but now I'm back. I just went ahead, I put down a couple of cash drops, got all my banana farms back, and now we're already around 66 with $1.8 million. That was a little bit of a grind, but we back, okay? Now we can actually start buying some of the things that we want to get. So this kind of crashed my game, but hopefully it doesn't crash my game again. Let's go ahead. It seems to be doing a little bit better now. I was a little bit worried, but it looks like it's doing fine. Wait, what in the world is shooting fire now? Something is sh something was shooting fire. What is shooting fire? What is happening? All right, let's also get Operation Balloons Destruction. Map Annihilator. Destroy every plastic piece on the map. Nice. All right, so we're... Oh, wait, wait. Look! Oh, my gosh! Look at the, soul the golden sun temples. The sun avatars. All right, let's go up to, like, round 100. Let's see how powerful we are with just all of these towers. Can we destroy a BAD? It's actually not that strong. What happens if we use our ability? Oh my gosh, that literally just annihilated everything completely. Like, completely and utterly just destroyed everything. Alright, let's just keep sending more stuff. And then you can just use this ability. Wait, how many pops does the ability have? Not a ton, actually. But I am interested to see how well that the Paragon does. So let's go ahead. Oh, wait, we're actually kind of struggling right now. All right, let's get the Paragon. Hopefully, we don't immediately lose. Send, giving it all of our money. And come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at the, Look at what it sends. Wait, Legends of Knights? Oh my gosh, look at this. A Pat, level up Pat Fusty, recursive cluster, a banana central. Wait, let's just sell everything. Let's just sell literally everything. What are these? UMSR units? What? All right, let's just sell everything. We don't need, we literally, all right, we're going to need our Time Master back again. Look, Benjamin's made $1.8 million. Holy cow, Benjamin is OP now. Okay, let's go ahead and Monkey Barrack. Look at this, level degree 58, Legend of the Knights. And they have literally Goliath Doom ships also just flying. Nothing is allowed to spawn, by the way. I'm just going to start skipping rounds. Let, we're, I'm going to use our Time Master Monkey, and we're going to skip rounds and see just how powerful this tower is. All right, round 200. Let's see how it goes against this. Destroyed it instantly. Okay. Remember, I haven't even used the Paragon's ability yet. You can only dream of how powerful this is going to be. We are already at 35 million pops. Okay, I want to use the ability. Wait, wait let's, make, let's go to round 300. I'll use the ability on round 300. Okay. I mean, we're still fine. All right, round 300 and get ready to use the ability. Wait, all right, here's a fortified BAD and ability. It literally completely wipes the map. It completely and utterly wipes the map. I What I want to see, all right, is obviously we'll probably instantly lose if we go to round 1,000, but I, I want to use the ability on round 1,000 and just see if the ability can hold up at all. Because, like, we're kind of struggling now and there's no way we could beat round 1,000 normally. But if we use the ability, does it pop balloons on round 1,000? Ready? And, okay, I lost. That's to be expected. Continue. All right, ready? And go. Oh, my gosh. No, it wasn't able to. But look at this. It got a billion pops. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe. Turn on notifications.